Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be continuing our um, inventory system. And as I said in the last video, I said that I was going to um, create a placeholder weapon so I can, you know, make an example of how we exactly set up a, a weapon to appear in our ends. So right now, uh, we have this custom weapon that we start as and we can pick our items and stuff. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to go into the first person character. And I'm going to make this gun disappear. I don't really know what the second gun does. Uh, this... Oh, this is the VR. Okay, I'm just going to delete that. This motion stuff, we don't need that. Go to the VR gun and delete that as well. And the VR marker. The only thing we need is this. And now we're going to have a problem over on the targets of the event graph. Because we do not have this. This is for the... Um, the motion controllers, you can just go ahead and delete that and just leave it like that compile uh, we got a, another target that is missing and we just gotta go ahead and basically, I'm just gonna go delete this old bubble, we do not need that and I'm also gonna delete this VR stuff there you go, compile and save and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make this mesh, uh, this first person gun disappear. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over into the skeletal mesh. And then I'm going to make that clear. Because I do not really want to have a weapon in our hands because we're going to pick that up. So what I'm going to start by doing, I'm going to go into the first person BP, go into the blueprints. And i got to create a new item. So go into the master item, create child blueprint, I'm just going to call this a weapon. Um, I'm just gonna call it uh, sell our rifle and I'm gonna move it that over there double click that open now we gotta set up the item mesh so first of all I don't really have a mesh for this um, I don't know if you have like that first person example again as a static mesh uh, but we probably don't let me just check really quick Okay, we don't. That's a shame we could have used that. Uh, but I guess we can just go ahead and... Now I'm going to do something. Um, I'm going to go over there into the first person. VP weapon mesh. And go into this skeletal mesh. And I'm just going to go asset uh, actions and export it. I'm going to export into the desktop. And I'm going to save that as an FBX. And export. Now I'm going to go up here and click on import. Uh, go back and import that up. So the skeletal mesh uh, first person gun. Actually, uh, let me just change the name first. So I'm just going to call this uh, static mesh. So SCM. Go back into there, import that up. And right now, instead of importing as a skeletal mesh, I'll just leave it and check that and everything will import as a static mesh so I'm just going to do that because the animations fit and it makes no sense you know, to add anything else so the material is fine doesn't really matter so I'm going to go into this item mesh and I'm just going to go static mesh underscore uh, FP gun and now we have our weapon uh, now let's go into the class settings uh, class default sorry and uh, fill this information. I'm just gonna call this rifle. Uh, make a weight, I don't know, uh, two kilograms. It's gonna be of the type weapon, and the class is rifle. Compile and save. Now that we have that, let's just drag that into the map. So go into our uh, first person BP, blueprints, items, and drag that in. Uh, I guess I can make it like that. There you go. It doesn't really matter. I'm actually going to just put this a little bit back so we can pick the weapon quicker. There you go. Now if we play and just quickly touch it out, you, we can still fire the thing, but it doesn't matter. But as you can see, we don't have a weapon. If I pick it up, click Y, and we only have the rifle. If I click it, well, we have spawned the weapon as I said that we would. But now we're going to have to do uh, a little bit different. Now, remember in the last video, I talked about uh, setting up a socket for us to spawn this. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go into the first person, 
go into our character mesh and double click that open and I'm going to have to go over here into the skeleton I'm just gonna close this I'm gonna go and set up uh, I think there is a preview animation stuff that we can set up there you go preview animation I'm just going for first person idle so we can see this better I'm gonna go to his right hand so upper arm right and right I'm gonna right click that and call uh, add something called add socket and I'm gonna call this rifle socket uh, yeah there you go so I'm gonna F2 control C to get the name but then I'm just gonna add something called add preview asset and static mesh underscore uh, FP weapon and now we just click on the socket and rotate it so it adapts to the end so let's just do that really quick do this do this and then just drag it down I guess I don't know if I'm doing this on the correct place I guess where would you pick up the because of the material I don't really know where to place this I guess it would be something like that oh yeah it's it's uh, we need to rotate it basically this stuff you just have to adjust it on your own uh, like in your own computer you have to just make sure the socket is like in the end and it looks like he's holding the weapon so the rest doesn't really matter that much There you go, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. It's good enough for me, I guess. Just make sure. Well, I guess that doesn't look that good, does it? So. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you adjust this to the way you want. Make sure you get the, the socket name. Now you can close that go over here and now we have this in socket name and you just place that rifle socket over there leave this transform space to RTS wall I believe it is and then I'm just gonna go into the interact and I'm going to delete this because we're not gonna really have an interact like on the weapon we do not want to add like a certain value like we do on uh, consumables and the thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna attach to component And I'm gonna do uh, so the target. I don't think is gonna be that. Oh yes, it is. Okay. And now the parent is going to be the ends of the player. So I'm gonna have to go over here into the first person character and get the ends. I think it's called the ends or the mesh. There you go. Get. Uh, okay. We just go ahead and see. So it's called mesh 2p okay that's fine so let's get the mesh 2p over here let's go back to the list there it is and now you just connect that to the parent and then again the socket name is the rifle socket and i think we can just keep the relative and then check well simulated bodies and now if we compile and save go back and play and we go and pick up this weapon there you go click on the rifle oh you can see the shadow of the rifle on the left there is certainly something wrong uh, with the, the transform let's go back into the item I think I may have done something wrong over here let's do this uh, is it RTS burn bone space let's try that and also let me go into the location rule and snap the target over here on the attached to component that might be the problem let's pick the rifle up click on it and there it is and as you can see oh oh I have to do something else when we attach something into our meshes we need to do something that is just called uh, set collision set actor enable collision and say and set that to false because if not the collision is going to mess up and your m movement of the character is going to become affected and we do not want that 
So just make sure you do that. And as you can see, we have the rifle in our end. It's not the center that I messed up the rotation. Oh, I closed by accident. I messed up the rotation over there on when I was placing the socket. But you can adjust that on your own. As you can see, we have spawned an item that is now in our inventory. And we can click and equip it. And now you can still go over here and use our medikit and all of that stuff. And the apple and the, the bottle and that kind of stuff you will disappear. And the rifle will always be uh, over here in our inventory. And we can now filter our weapons and make them appear. So yeah, I think that's going to be all for this video. I, I did have a request from a viewer to do something with AI, like make him follow the player and go into the car. I think I said that, that I will upload that today. I actually didn't, because I wanted just to bring another episode of this, because I then too about AI. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be making that uh, request happening. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.